What's going on guys? The big day has finally arrived. I'm just here in my dentist's car park. I have to go in and probably get a filling. I just finished work. I had to rush across town. Uh, it's been a long day and now I'm going to make it a bit longer by doing my hardest session of the block. It's one of those one of those sessions where you you kind of you feel nervous going into it because you don't know how it's going to go. But I always remember that this is the way you're going to feel in the marathon. So it's very important to remember all these feelings that you're feeling now. And then when you get to the marathon, when you're asking yourself and doubting yourself and asking yourself the same questions, at least you'll be able to go back to these sessions and think, yeah, I did it. I did it then and I was feeling the same. And uh, that'll make you kind of relax a bit more. So that's that's one of the good things about these kind of big sessions and it's 17 days to go to Tokyo Marathon. It gives me a chance to do another session maybe in seven days time, that'll be 10 days out. And that should be enough to get me to the start line feeling good. And I don't know how the session's gonna go today. I haven't even decided what I'm gonna do. I usually just decide on the fly. Like Definitely no more than 12 at PB Martin Pass. Whether I do four miles, four miles, and another four miles, that'll bring it to 12, and I should have a good session uh, in a half marathon, 21k of a session total. Um, we'll decide on the go, and it all depends what time I get out of here. I'm still in, I'm still in my work clothes. I have to get changed, and I have to get warmed up, and um, I have to get into running fast mode, which I don't feel like I'm doing now, but. Let's just get the dentist out of the way and then we'll take from there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my mouth is numb. <laughs> I can barely talk. I had a big monster filling. And um, I think if I'm gonna be taking energy gels in oil, they're gonna be dribbling all over my face. Hopefully it doesn't affect me. Mentally, I don't know how I'm gonna do this run, but it is what it is. It's cold out there. My jaws starting to come round, I hope. We'll test it out in a while with a little, little gel. And they're gonna meet Sean in about an hour from now. So I have an hour to play around with. I'm gonna do a couple of miles warm up and then I'm gonna do four miles at 5.35 PB marathon pace and I'll have a mile uh, easy float and then I'll make up the rest of the rest of the session till I meet Sean with maybe more marathon pace stuff and hopefully I'll have about 12 or 13 at marathon pace by the time this session is finished. I didn't take a jacket, it's pretty cold so I can't wait to, to get warmed up I have my tempers on. They're at the, they're, they're on their last legs, as they say. There's not there's not much life left in them. I'm gonna stick with them. They got me they got me so far. When I put those vapor flies on in Tokyo, then we'll go fast and we'll enjoy it and it'll feel good. So this is a tough session. Mentally I'm tired. Physically I'm tired after a long day of work. I have a I have a numb my face is all numb. But, you know, I think I'll feel a lot happier when I get, get this session done. 17, 17 days to go. Let's go and do it. Oh yeah. The tempos deliver again. Bring me on those alpha flies. That was a great session. Felt very good, very, very good. In terms of um, Martin Pell's work, I did 13.1 um, to 21k at a little bit faster than marathon pace, maybe around marathon pace for the last five miles when I met Sean. So I timed it well. So it was four miles, um, 800 meter recovery, around 640 pace, then four miles at 5.32 again, and then about six minutes recovery and I met Sean and then we went in and did five miles and we kind of built into it so around 540 down to five um, 535s and felt very good 16.5 miles for the day 
solid session. I feel good. It's time to go home now and eat some something nice and um, might even take a rest there tomorrow. Who knows? No, I won't. <laughs> How you doing? The time has come. No more hiding. The last session before we start heading to Japan and I want to do it a bit earlier. It's 11 days out from Tokyo and I'm going to be traveling for the next couple of days. I'm not going to get um, too much sleep and I'm going to be heading away Thursday morning early. So Thursday is going to be a bit of a ride off. Thursday is going to be gone. Going to get to Japan on Friday and probably going to feel real bad. So don't know if I'm going to get a run over there. Don't know how my body's going to be. Don't know if I'm going to sleep on the plane, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we have to go and see what it is, but I decided to do my last kind of session on Thursday. So I, I've i been feeling pretty good. I probably probably packed in the sessions a bit too much. I did Thursday was my, Thursday I did a big one. And then I took two days rest. And yesterday I was gonna do 17 steady, but I was caught for time, so I had to break it up. I did seven in the morning and ten in the evening, just kind of a light progression run around the aerobic threshold. And today I'm just going to do around marathon effort, marathon pace, or maybe a little bit faster, depending on how these bad boys respond. Because I don't, uh, I don't know only where the, the alphas in training, but these are brand new, and I think that I'm not going to wear the Kipchoge version because I have a lot of races done on them. I don't know, they're probably still good, but I, I said I'm gonna I'm gonna open this new box that I had in my room for a year and a half and I'm gonna I'm gonna take them with me. I think I deserve to get any improvement I can get from uh, my shoes or whatever I'm gonna take it and I reckon having a new pair of alphas will give me a bit more of a bounce compared to the the old alphas that I have. I didn't get the Alpha Fly 3s, which I wanted to, but I think these Alpha Fly 1s, having worn them for a couple of marathons, I like running in them, and if I don't get the trees, I'm very happy with them. Um, a bit of a mad orangey fire color, I suppose, but it doesn't matter. They do the job, they're a good shoe. I'm gonna do one mile warm up, and then I'm gonna do eight to ten miles at around 155 maybe a little bit lower my heart rate's been a little bit lower in this kind of training block because i've been doing i made a few tweaks to my training and um the heart rate there has been pretty good but and you know having having not done that 16 at marathon pass i don't know what kind of heart rate data to expect but when i did that session last thursday i felt pretty good my heart rate was pretty low but i think my my heart rate for the marathon is going to be a lot lower this time and you know is that's a good thing i reckon the only thing that i would be worried about is my endurance like i said i haven't done too many 20 20 plus long runs i've i did a few time on the feet ones i've kind of learned after chicago the last time that you don't need to do these big long hard ones you know if you can and you do them fair enough I just um, I just find it take a lot out of me, and I have to work and have family, and if it's a case of not doing them and staying a bit fresher, I won't do them, and um, that's the way I'm gonna gonna go go forward. Like, and that that's what works for me. You know, if you if you if you find you can do 25 miles at whatever pace, you know, do it. But um, I'm not gonna do that anymore, and um, hopefully it'll keep me on the start line. Uh, a lot more so we better get these shoes on and get warmed up i'm going to take the gopro with me and we will record a bit of footage sorry tempos i still love you it's not you it's me <laughs> some high quality frisbee action going on over there The famous Alpha Flight Slap. Just gonna do one mile and then straight into it.
watching all that frisbee action makes me want to run fast <laughs> all right the warm-up is over last session before tokyo let's do this i'm back in the ul i'm sick of looking at this place racing training I kind of um, I kind of came here because I didn't want to be running laps around Dry Heen Industrial Estate because I just find it too fast and um, I like a little bit of a challenge. There's a lot of turns here, there's people that get in your way, there's, you just have to focus a bit more and I think that's kind of helpful as well because if you can get through sessions here like this and uh, feel good, you know, on race day when you have the roads closed and everything, it should make it a little bit easier and hopefully it goes well and I have no niggles and I always have this ner nervousness especially what happened last year a week before the world championships and I got injured so I, anytime I feel something now I get a bit of a fear and hopefully that I don't feel anything today I don't want to I just want to get through this and then I'm done and I can't do no more we go to we go to Japan and we leave it all out there so let's get this session done and we'll have a little chat on the way. Lap one, 5.33. Rolling downhill, so it was always gonna be faster. Just two 5k, 17, 17, 15, 17, 10 maybe. Feeling good. Have to take this jacket off in a few minutes because I'm starting to get a bit warm. We'll hit the five, we'll hit the five mile turn around point and uh, I'll take off the jacket. So far, so good. Five mile done, the jacket is off. Time to start walking a bit. We're on pace, all is good. Let's get the ship home. Just coming up to 10k. Feeling pretty good still. Uh, conditions couldn't be better, so hopefully it's like this Sunday week. Can it you Practice one of these sharp turns. Whoa. With cobblestones. That's it. On 34, 30 for the 10k. Feeling good. Heart rate is good. Not injured yet. <laughs> try not to let the heart rate spike up too much. And try to keep the keep the reins on. We've got loads of time for getting giddy. And it's not today. Last hill slid. Take it home. 800 to go. Need to put the boot down. <laughs> Just to get back to pace. Bit of daydreaming there sometimes. You need to crack the whip. Beautiful night. Great day to pick a session. My alpha flies are going to stay nice and dry as well. Job done. Niggle free. Five thirty three a mile. I'll take that. That was good. Didn't feel like I was killing myself. Which is what I expect when you put on the alphas. But a lovely night for a session. I'm glad now I got that done because I won't have to do it tomorrow. I'm gonna to be doing a lot of traveling and I'll be really tired. You know, I didn't want to carry up my legs, especially traveling up to Dublin airport and stuff like that. So I said I'd get it done. And I can't do it more now. This is the first time I actually feel going to Martin that no matter what time I run in Tokyo, I know I can run faster. I just feel it now, the way I'm training. I just think I got a lot of things right. Now, 
it might not translate into a fast time, but I feel good, you know, I feel good. And this is the way I want to be training going forward, like, just adjust it on the fly, stay fresh, um, put the right amount of intensity at the right amount of time, and uh, hopefully you'll get stronger and fitter. And that's the way I feel now, like I said, whatever happens in Tokyo, I know that um, I'm gonna be able to run faster down the line. And uh, it's a good feeling, you know. If you, if you remember my old video logs when I was finishing on the shift and I was getting all sleep and I was really, really feeling bad, but you know, changing this shift, I had to take a big pay cut, but I have my health and hopefully it stays like that. I know I'm gonna go to Tokyo with my family and enjoy it. I'm not gonna put my feet up totally because you pay a lot of money to go over. I said it before in Chicago when I ran my PV, when I ran 226, I said, you know, you might you might not get another opportunity to come over to these big cities. And if you're paying good money, just at least enjoy it somewhat. I'm not a professional and my family are coming. I don't wanna just make it boring for them. So we're gonna enjoy it. We might even hit Disney. I might do a few runs there, who knows? But the plan is just to get to the start line and finish off this journey because it's been uh, it's been a good one, and now I'm ready.